Uh, Loretta, tell us what the, you know, the current sentiment is. You, you just have your credit tracker out today. Yeah, so the current sentiment in the offshore market has actually this week worsened because um, just yesterday we saw a major developer, Sifi Holding, um, actually who just sold a state guaranteed bond uh, weeks ago, has defaulted on a convertible bond offshore. And investors are still watching for any signs of you know further uh, stress on its offshore debt. But that just means that state help for these developers currently isn't enough because Sifi um, previously thought one of the stronger developers has not been able to hold up. And this was the, the developer that had the state guaranteed bonds. Exactly. And, and you thought that everyone thought that this was going to be the kind of the, the big game changer for the market. Why has it still, you know, why are we not seeing any kind of relief from that? Yeah, I think that example just tells us the extent of the liquidity crunch for these developers is so big. And for a whole year, property home sales have not been able to keep up. Um, I mean, during the national holiday uh, in October, you see home sales still slumping, which means developers have not been able to retrieve their major source of funding, which is the home sales. Um, and I think, um, on the other hand, when the state back fund was initially released, right, people's expectation was that it will be mainly for the stronger ones, mm. the ones that don't actually have any liquidity issues. And also, if you look at the size of these guaranteed bonds, it's not huge compared to you know, their, their actual liquidity needs. Uh, everyone's talking about the party congress, of course, which is two days away. Uh, do investors still have any hopes about what could come out from there when it comes to property? I think earlier this week the hopes has definitely been hammered because we've seen people's uh, daily has reiterated its stance on COVID policy, which means that you know there's not huge hopes for any kind of turnaround in that fundamental policy, which is what we really need to see for property sales for for the economy to pick up. Mm. And then on the other hand, I think there's still some uh, thin hopes for uh, you know further support for the property sector as a whole. You know we might see some kind of of, uh, funding support uh, for the property sector, um, but whether as if these funding will trickle down to uh, these weaker developers, the weaker credit, that remains a question.